Hello, Kariel. It's been a while. I'm impressed that you managed to evade capture for so long, but you didn't really think you could escape me, did you? You didn't really think your crimes could go unpunished forever, did you? No, of course you didn't. You're much smarter than that. The dread must have been eating away at you for decades now. <laughs> Well, good news, old friend. You don't have to fear any more. <laughs> you think you can hide from me, Kariel? I know how you think. And I know where you are. You see... I learned something from trying to kill that friend of yours from Redwater Den. She managed to disappear like you did. But you, my little hare, are leaving me a trail. <laughs> I know what you are. You can't afford to bleed this much, can you? You'll slow and tire. And then you won't be able to fight me. Oh, giving up so soon? Where's your fighting spirit, Kariel? Where's that rebel soul that you showed me when we first met in Woodhearth? Where's that hissing, spitting snake tongue of yours that gave you the gall to curse at your training officer. Surely you haven't forgotten all of that. Or is it simply that you've been fighting for so long that you've grown tired of it? Have you truly given up, Ingrath? Are you waiting for me to end you? <laughs> like you? could ever be so merciful. Hm, that's more like it. <sighs> ah, I have missed you, Kariel. After tangling with a rattlesnake like you, nobody else was ever quite as exciting. I've broken many people since I worked on you, and I do believe you spoiled me. They all caved so easily. And yet, you were always my first and greatest failure. You could have been wonderful. You and I, two of a kind in spite of our differences. You talk too much. <laughs> Perhaps so. Can you really blame me? My first time seeing such an old and dear friend in decades. We have so much to catch up on. Of course, Ellenwyn will want a word with you, but... I'm sure you'll be back in my hands soon enough. I'm quite excited, truth be told. I've never worked on a vampire before. You've been through so much since we last spoke. I can't wait to see what new secrets you have for me. <laughs> Keep talking. At this rate, I'll die of blood loss before you get me out of this damn cavern. <laughs> Well, I suppose I could live with that disappointment. Of course you're lying to me. Vampires heal quickly. I knew that much even before joining the Dawn Guard. <laughs> You've underestimated me in that case. You hit an artery with a silvered dagger. I haven't fed in... three days. You tell me how long you think I'll last. No more. I yield. I yield.
Your first shot will be the one that defines this thing, and I... ...need all the help I can get. Cover me, but don't get in my way, whatever you do. Get him out of there. Protect him. Let Garm and I handle the bitch. Okay. You go on in. We'll be here. In a go, you watch the road. I'll look out in case Hegatha runs. I don't intend to give her the chance. Come on. Find a good perch. I wanted to think I came in alone. Got a bus. Don't shoot until I have her attention. I wanted to think she can take me so she doesn't focus on you or him. Anything else? Nope. Hurry. joining the Dawn Guard. You've underestimated me in that case. You hit an artery with a silvered dagger. I haven't fed in three days. You tell me how long you think I'll last. <laughs> Perhaps you'll last longer than you think. It appears my friends in the Dawnguard followed you here. I'm sure one of them could be convinced to help you. I am not the Dawnguard. And if you touch him again, the whole of their force couldn't stop me from making you suffer. Archmage, I must say I had my suspicions about you. Pale skin, odd hours, now I know why. I suppose I have two vampires to take care of today. Nothing to say for yourself. You accept your death that easily? Come now, surely a man of your supposed wit has some addition to this discussion? No. Are you here to defend him? Is he one of your minions? Are you one of his? Do you think you... A mere enchanter and an untrained swordsman, judging by your stance. Have any hope of standing in my way? I'm not in your way, Hegitha. I didn't... Don't. Oh, right, that was your name. Yes, I suppose you technically aren't, but I'd be a fool to turn around and give you the opportunity to stick that sword through my back. You hurt my man, Hegitha. I don't need the sword to rip your soul out and feed it to Molag Ball's hounds myself. <laughs> your man, is he? Why, Kyriel, I had no idea you were such an abomination. He isn't the abomination here. I am.
Z, why did you shoot him? To keep him from bleeding out. I know what this poison does. The problem is that he lost so much blood that I'm afraid to unpoison him to heal him. But if we don't unpoison him... Hey, let's not think of that. <sighs> what do you mean? What, what does that mean? What? Do you have a potion? Do? Yes, of course I have a potion. I have the antidote. What I don't have is a good way to get more blood into him. And the other problem is if we make him drink the potion first, he could choke and die either way. He's... He's a vampire. He doesn't need to... That is true, but he still needs to be able to get the potion down. <sighs> Dran Hasa. Well, we don't have much of a choice. Hold him. I'll give him the antidote and then... Put as much pressure on his shoulder as I can. That is not a good wound, but if we can get the potion in him, we can at least make sure that starts healing. I'll put some of it directly on his shoulder and see if that helps, but... Murkashi. Right. I'll... I'll hold him. I'll hold him. He'll be alright, right? It... Uh, might be a bit close. Don't panic. I'll do my best. Good. I'll wrap his shoulder before I do anything else. You just hold him and be calm. I can certainly try. Ingrath? Can you hear me? If you can't nod, just... Just look at me. Don't you dare leave me, Ingrath. Don't make me do this again. Please don't leave me. I'm trying. Arden? Yes? You were... magnificent. No, don't go saying things like that, love. You'll make me think you're on your way out and... Easy, Arden. I'm not dying. Not anymore. I'm tired and can't feel my arm, but I'll be all right. Heesh, that was a close call, Red. You scared the crap out of both of us. Sorry. See, thank you. You did... You did very, very well. I'm so sorry I got a bit snippy with you. Eh, you're kind of pissed and vampire -y. You took Fusose Vardar to a whole new level. Thanks for shooting me, kiddo. Quick thinking. Heh, <laughs> I call that one the Carlia surprise. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, I should probably go tell Inigo and Miss Gold that you're okay-ish, and maybe see if we can find a way to get some blood back in you. Oh, shit, you got Dom involved? Duh. Thank you, Arden. I... I had intended to come find you after... Long story. I... I guess I don't have to worry about you leaving me. Even after everything I told you. Of course not. I love you. I can't believe it took nearly losing you for me to admit it, but I love you. I have for a while, I just... I didn't want to say anything in case... Well, I guess in case you didn't. I do. I do. So much. I was an idiot. I should have stayed with you. You weren't... Uh, well, all right, maybe you were a bit of an idiot, but you were scared. I get it. That whole thing was a mess. It was a lot to tell me at once, and you didn't know how I'd react. And I'm sorry for what I said to you. I... I didn't do a very good job of that either, and... Sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm still... All of what I told you was true. You know that, right? I'm still not a good person. And I don't care. 
Maybe you weren't a good person. Maybe I was. But look at what I've just done. I just killed that woman, ripped her throat out with my own fangs, and for a second or two there, I liked it. I don't think either of us are good people anymore. But I don't think either of us are all bad, either. Maybe you're not who I thought you were. Maybe you're not the troubled mercenary with a heart of gold, but... Maybe I am. Maybe I am, at least in part, what I thought you were, and... I'd gladly be that person for you, because I fell in love with you. Your quiet, your patience, your mind, your poetry, your... <laughs> God's awful jokes. I didn't... I didn't fall for who I thought you could be for me, or what I thought you could do. I love you because you're... you. And maybe the best place for us is somewhere between good and evil together. If you'll have me. Oh... What? Tundanyani. I... I am yours. And I swear by Mafala and her seeing both, I will never run from you again. Tandanya Niando. And I swear to Mara, Stenda, Meridia, and Molog fucking Ball that I'll hunt down anyone who tries to make you. They'll never stop. The Thalmor... Let them come. Let them send as many Inquisitors, Justiciers, Adjutants, and Battle Reeves as they please. I will tear each and every one of them down for you. But Hegatha is dead now, and the name they gave you dies with her. She was the worst of them, and by far the best weapon they had against you. She was the only one who could have hurt you like that, and you don't have to fear her anymore. Your past is dead if you want to bury it. And I vowed to help you become whoever you want to be now. Ingrath, Cayman, Stormsong, Rulani, your choice. I'll stand by your side, fight at your back, catch you when you fall, because even if neither of us are good people, in the end, I have faith that we can do some good in this world, together. Even if it's just for each other. Fuck's sake, Arden. What? I spent three days meditating in our pond, and the best I could come up with was, I fucked up and I'm sorry. How long did it take you to write that one? <laughs> I... Damn it, I missed you. It wasn't even that long, but... I missed you too, hon. You and your speeches. <laughs> your... <laughs> I... I love you. I love you too. Right now, though, I need to rest. I'm... so tired. Hegatha was right about that. I've been afraid for so long, but... It's starting to sink in that maybe I don't have to be. At least not right now. Not with you. Uh, oh, right. Right. Sorry. I'll, I'll let you sleep. And stay with you. Make sure you don't start fading or something. You, you weren't bluffing about the artery thing, were you? Caught that, huh? No. No, I wasn't. I think it's healing, though. If slowly. I'm not bleeding anymore, at least. It's the panic I have to recover from. Ah, well. You're safe here. Get some rest before Zaytest comes back and starts fretting over you again. <laughs> She's a good kid. Yeah. Thank the gods for her. Hmm. Arden? Mm hmm? You've got a little something on your face. <laughs> Can you feel your arm? Define feel. Ingrath. The answer is... barely. And the feelings that I can feel aren't exactly pleasant. Oh no. I hope I did not do more damage trying to keep the blood flow contained. You did just fine. He's alive, that's what matters. More good. Uh, who is this? I don't recognize your handwriting. Arden. And as proof, I'll say sorry we didn't meet you all in Whiterun, things got a bit out of hand. Does anyone else have one of these? I believe you. And no. 
Not that I know of. What happened? Are you okay? How did you get this? I'm fine, and that's good. I'm with Ingrath, as I test Inigo and Miss Gold right at the moment. I found this journal on Hegatha's corpse. I'll let you put together what that means. Oh, thank the gods. Ingrath is alive, then? Yes. Mostly. I have a feeling he'll want to talk about that when we get there. Where are you and the others? Helgen? Fair warning, it's been a rough couple of days and Kino has taken a loss pretty hard right now. Oh dear. What happened? Well, the good news is the town is making progress and we've really set the Thalmore pack in between us and what you probably just did to Hegatha. The bad news is the man who was leading the fight died. I think it was the same kind of magic I warned Miss Gold about. Oh. Oh no. That's awful. I take it Kinoa couldn't help him? I think that's why she's taking this so hard. Makes sense. We'll be over in Helgen as soon as Wisha uh, Ingrath can travel again. Uh oh. What happened to him? Hegatha. I'll let him tell the story when we get there if he wants to. Will he be alright? We don't know yet. I hope so. Right. I'll try not to panic too much until you get here. Take your time though, Val's pyres are still burning out and I don't know how long it'll take for them to clear out. It's right in front of Kinoa's new tower and there's not much of a back door, so... Thank you, Morgood. Take care of Kinoa, okay? Yes, sir. Gran and I are doing our best. Oh, and thank you for reminding me that I have a project in progress with your grandfather back in Winterhold right now. I was more distracted than usual. Chasing after the love of your life? Trying to find a way to catch him more like, but yes. Be safe. Tell your grandmother and Kinoa we all got a bit caught up in other business, but are mostly intact. Ouch. Will do. Don't go tearing off the more business before you get here. You have my word. I do hate to drop in on Kinoa with guests so suddenly, but maybe it'll be a welcome distraction. Eh, guess we'll find out. I think we're all gonna try to sleep for a bit before morning, but... I can make fog. We're not waiting for sundown. Dilly noted. See you probably in the morning. Hopefully. See you then. So, how bad is it, really? My shoulder? It's gonna be a while healing, if it ever does. Oh, what do you mean? Well, in order to actually get to the artery that's in there, you have to go through a bundle of nerves. Which is why it's numb right now. Pins and needles. I had this happen when that bastard Arconian took out my eye, too. Screwed up a nerve in my jaw and half my mouth was numb for a solid year. Well, hopefully it won't be so long now, right? Since you're a vampire? Who knows? Come on. This place is calling to me and I want to see why. Calling to- <laughs> Jeez. I feel like I've done nothing but ask questions, but it's because I'm worried about you. You're all right, hon. Yeah, I saw this place while I was meditating in a pond for three days. Which explains why nobody could find you. Yeah. Can I ask? Why I was... Yeah. I assume it's because you panicked and needed some kind of divine intervention, or reassurance, or both. You know me, and yes. One of the places I saw was here, but on the other side of Oblivion in the hunting grounds. Her scene's real. Yeah, I figured you'd come here because it was one of the old druidic places or something. Druidic? Isn't that... What you are? No. I think that's a Reachman thing. I just talk to Daedric princes and sometimes they answer. Which sounds about as crazy as it feels, truth be told. This place just happens to be a thin spot between worlds, I suppose. Ursine called me here. And so did my mother. Your mother? Isn't she... Dead, yes. But her soul lives on in the hunting grounds with the rest of the Rulaniel clan. Or at least those who were devoted to Hercene, I imagine. Like I am. Hercene really was looking out for you then. 
None of us would have been here if Zaytest hadn't talked to a hunter and found a book about old druidicrites. And, I suppose, if I hadn't put two and two together. Completely faulty reasoning on my part, but maybe Hercene had a hand in that. You sound pretty alright with that for a guy who praised a Stendar. And Mara. Frankly, I'm more inclined to follow my heart right at the moment. Follow? I'd rather you walk beside me, hun. Oh no, you're just going to get worse now, aren't you? You know it. <laughs> can you open this chest for me? I can smell something, but I don't think I have the leverage to actually get it open. Oh, sure. Here. You know, I don't think this should leave the cave. Or whatever this place is. I know there was a chest back up in here somewhere. I'm not gonna leave this place while I still got this hide on me. At least the ring is gone. That won't really bother anyone anymore, I guess. There. Someone else can deal with that. Hersim, put your favor somewhere else. You've done well, Hunter. And found my favor. You continue to amuse and impress. Go forth with my blessing. Ah, uh, Ingrath? Are you okay? Is it your arm or...? No, I'm fine. It's just... Someone, at some point, earned Hercene's good grace and decided to put it in a chest instead. And now here I am, one of his hounds, as it were, finding it again and accepting it willingly. That old fur thing is one of Hercene's artifacts? Yes. What it really is... It's a comfort to me. Knowing that even after running for my life, after... fighting to hold on to what was left of my life, even after all the panic and uncertainty and confusion... I'm still worthy. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. Here, let me help you put it on. Arden, I've still got a working hand. You don't need to- Shush! You nearly died. You should be taking it easy. This is me taking it easy. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm gonna haul you up to the college with me. I don't think. So that you can have somewhere nice and cozy and warm to stay that's away from all of the noise and all of the people. Isn't that place crawling with construction workers right about now? Yes, but I have a little cabin over the hill from Winterhold, remember? I'll be able to keep an eye on it, and you'll be able to be weak in peace for a while. That sounds nice, actually. I'd forgotten about that. But first... We've got to go have a chat with Kinawa, Yarvida, and Mordgood. I suspect they'll want to know what happened and why you'll be a bit out of commission for a while. Damn. How much you tell them is entirely up to you, love. We didn't say anything to them about any of this, except for letting Mordgood know that we were dealing with some business. They don't know. If it makes you feel safer, we can keep it that way. Arden, you... Thank you. I admit, in spite of feeling physically weaker than I've felt in years, I am feeling a bit stronger emotionally. Maybe it's because I've got you to lean on. Aww. Or maybe it's because of this old hunk of fur. Who knows? And you're still the worst. <laughs> Come on. Are you feeling up for a trek to Helgen, or...? Like I said, I still have one functioning hand. I'll use the axe left-handed if pressed, but I'd rather just throw ice at people if we get attacked on the way. Or throw you at people. I think your wings are bigger than Harkin's. Oh dear. Well, I don't get pretty like that for just anyone. Well, thank you. For saving my life and burying my past. My knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. I... you... <laughs> well, it's not exactly shining now, is it? And what will that make you, a damsel in distress? A deer in fear. <laughs> well, you do have the antlers for it. They are quite majestic, if I do say so myself. <laughs> 
I'd make a joke, but the fatigue got up to me again. I feel like I'll sleep for a week straight after all this. I wouldn't blame you one bit. Which means we should get going and get all this taken care of so that you can rest properly. Lead the way, my love. <laughs>